So what are you saying? I'm saying that JT called me up last night after he left here to go pick up Kate. Uh -huh. And his dad's truck was spray painted. So all you guys that were blaming me last night, now you're what? Are you sorry? Uh, now I'm suspicious. How, how do we, like, he conveniently happened to call you and give you an alibi? Dude. He called right after he left. It's not like it was like a half hour, Tom. It was right after he left, he got over to the house. It was like a couple minutes. Okay, that still sounds really convenient for you. Oh, oh, I got called. Tom, by he put Somebody a video else? up of it. He put a video up. Yeah, his dad's car got spray painted. So it's not me. So it's not you. Yeah, that. It's not me. It's not Joe. It's not Kevin. It's not Weber. It's not JT. It's not Jeff. I have no idea. I yeah, know that. Uh. That works. And when Joe comes home, I'm going to tell him about it too. And I want to. I want to see. We got to come up with some kind of. Some kind of plan. We got to. We got to. Or figure out. Who in the world this could be. Yeah, because everything we've been hit by hasn't really been specifically like something a random thing would do. The toilet paper maybe, but with the stickers, not so much. And everything else has just been weird. We. And it so, seems it's like, got to be someone we know. It seems like it's getting a little worse. So, I mean. Weber's thing, big deal. You know what? I'm, I, when, with Joe yeah, we'll, we'll here, go I'll, over this with Joe because yeah. we we like need to actually like plan this out. We can't just yeah. Because we toss around ideas, we'll forget things. We, like this needs to be as like yeah. we really need to figure this out. He should out. be home in a couple hours. Yeah. So what's up? You want to talk? Yeah. So I, I, I I'll be honest. I never know what to expect when you want to talk. I get nervous now. No, last night, right? After JT left, yeah. he called me up, and guess what? What? Jeff's car got hit. No. -uh. His truck, yeah, it got spray painted. At his house? At his house, yeah. So -uh. I think you owe me an apology. Why do I owe you an apology? Well, actually, everybody does, because everybody was blaming me. Well, for, well uh, first of all, if you want me to apologize for blaming you for something that you blamed me for 15 times more than I blamed you, then that's fine, but you better apologize to me right afterwards. I feel like this should be unspoken thing that if you get blamed for a prank we're sorry it wasn't you because we're, we're going through this in our heads let's be honest you blame me way more than i blame you all right i'm sorry that i blamed you all right well then i'm sorry that i blamed you as well because obviously you had nothing to do with that because you were here the whole time right i can't duplicate myself no, and go in two different I mean, places if you can and i don't know about this i'd be super impressed and excited to see what we can do with it but i don't feel like it's physically possible yeah and i saw the video the the Plain, plain as day. Did you watch it? No. JT put a video up. Oh, uh, I didn't see it. it. Yeah. So he, there's a video out there with the with the spray paint. It's. I, I'm at, I'm at wit's end right now, Joe. I because I don't understand what's going on. I. I so what's what? Well, well, there's a few different things we need to figure out here. One, obviously, he was doing it. But two, it's now it's not just here with us. Like that's no, weird, exactly, right? Spreading exactly. out. Exactly. That's what I mean. So now it's a little bit bigger than what I originally thought it was going. What, what it was, to be honest right. with you. I thought it was somebody just trying to get us here. Now yeah. it's bigger. Like what? I, that's what I'm saying. And it was the same. So it was like the 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 the, uh, the spray paint stuff on his truck. Yeah. The truck. The, the same. Stuff, the same, same stuff. stuff that was on Tom's and yours. Exactly. Did, did he save any of the cans? Did we save any of the cans that were here? We threw them out, didn't we? Why? Well, I, I trash get picked I, up already. I picked it up. The trash I'm not picked digging up? through my trash, but you mean this to find out if the cans are the same? Well, they're probably the same, right? I mean, what does it matter? We're not going to get a fingerprint. It. No, but I could find. I could try to find out if there's any cans that they have. I mean, they, I, my guess is they're probably the same kind. We need to find out maybe where they came from. We can look them up and see if there's any local. But, but what would that do? Maybe it's going to give us any kind of information no, if we get right. to a store, bought a party city. But like, hey, did you sell these cans to anybody? But I mean, the stuff that's written down and everything, it's like somebody, it's somebody who knows us is doing Oh, this. no, there's no doubt. It's somebody that, that's definitely involved. But, I mean, anybody knows. I mean, the, the information they're saying, yeah, like, the go-home stuff, like anybody to, that... Anybody has to watch the videos. Yeah, right, know. knows that I'm living here. It's yeah. not, it's, it's, it's any secret, but it seemed a little personalized. It, it seemed like it would be something that... The thing I don't understand, though, is the one thing that it said about uh, get a job mm -hmm. on Tom's car. Because... That doesn't make any sense. Like, why would you write that on there? Because Tom right. has a job. He has a job. 
He's the, you know, he he's, makes decent money. Yeah, and you're a camera, and he's also an executive producer. I give him, is that, is that true? Is that what it he's is? He's an editor, too. Editor and an executive producer. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal around these parts. Right. The word is the guys that just talk. Yeah. That's, yeah, so yeah, he has a job. I mean, so long as the person thinks that the job is actually a job. Huh? Right. What? As long as the person who person who did it thinks that that's actually a job and not I mean, just like, see, so you oh, you're just doing a hobby. That's, that's a, a job in, in itself. See, the thing is, is like, okay, it's not me. It's not you. Right, it's, it's not obviously Tom, not us. It's not JT. It's not Weber. It's not Kevin. I don't think it's Weber or Kevin. And I, I, I did, well, now that it, Jeff got hit, there's no way it's Weber or Kevin. I don't think that either yeah, one of them would what? go. Do, do, would do they, they, have they ever been over the house? I don't know if they have. And, I mean, I don't know about Weber person. You would know better than me since, I mean, maybe back in the day. But I Kevin, don't think Weber, I don't, I don't think Kevin ever has. No, I mean, they've met each other. Yeah, but I'm fairly sure that Kevin's never been over there. No, I'm talking about Weber. He, they've met, he's met them plenty of times, but never over their house. He was my friend, never their friend. Yeah, but even then, would be coming up, go over somebody else's house. Like, doing something here to us is different. Like, going yeah. over there, it's, so it, it almost eliminates all of us. Well, me and you technically, I guess, because unless we did something, we planned out something. Yeah. But Weber and Kevin, there's no way they would have anybody go over there or go over there themselves. I think what, we, what we're going to have to do is basically we're just going to have to sit down and, and just maybe like old detective style kind of stuff. You know what I mean? And try to figure out like right why like or why not. On there. Yeah. And then like if we can eliminate somebody, eliminate Cross them. Off. I, I kind of feel like like... I, I trust Tom only because I know he's not going to give up his money. No, and at this point... And I, and I told him he's going to give up his money for, what did I say, five years? Three years? Considering you increase it every time you bring it up. Oh. It was a fish this big, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> this big, Joe. <laughs> but I think it should be like, to you know, to get an honest answer, I don't think he's going to give up money. Like, he knows that you're giving up... What, what would you be... Comfortable a year? It has to be high, or else I don't, you know. Even a year. Like even, I said, it doesn't matter because I didn't do it. Money. Right. I mean, I couldn't give up money for three I months. I think it should be at least two years. Well, either way, I don't think Tom did it. Cause I don't think Tom would. I think Tom is smart in all of us, and he wouldn't put himself at that risk because he right. knows how how stubborn you but are. Here's the thing: you could take my money, my money indefinitely because I didn't do it. No, it's and true. It, yeah. What is he? And doing? I also, I also had him swear that like nobody was helping him. Do Look, it. I believe you as a friend, and I, and I hope that you feel the same way about me that we know there's long enough. I looked at you right now. I told you I had nothing and, to do with and it. And I told you by now, I would if if it was me. First of all, this would have been. I, this, but as soon as somebody called me out, so here's the thing about pranking somebody: like if you get blamed haphazardly in a prank, you don't admit to it. Right. But when they're saying, dude, this is why I think it's you. Right. And if you get caught on it, you have to admit to it. Like, it was a good prank, but you got caught. That's the end of it. You know what I mean? Right, Because right. there's two sides of a prank. Either you get away with it or you get caught. If you're calling me out saying, hey, I know it was you because of this, this, and this, uh, then I'll be like, I'm sorry I did it. And just like the same way, if you ask me if it was you because of this, this, or this, and I'm like, it's not, you should be like, okay, it's right. not him. And I'll tell you it's what, when I side. interrogated all you guys, I, I looked at that, and I looked back at the videotape and everything, and... To me, first of all, uh, I ordered your watch for you. Thank you. Yeah, it should be it's in weird. here any day now. It's um, very uncomfortable that. Yeah, I'm, again, I'm you really, I'm really sorry. Ooh, it's like a Corona. Yeah. Can I wear this? Yeah, go ahead. Um, Where'd you get these from? Fan. Nice. Um, I was really triggered when you looked at your watch. Well, I think you, well, I think we can talk about your your temper later. It's a whole different well, discussion. Well, I mean, you smashed my grill, Joe. It was in the middle of a prank, though. I was just in in the mode yeah, of what being about the my, scene. What about my laptop that time? Well, I was that was different. Yeah, so I, I think that we're we're square now. I think that because you did what you said you were gonna do, Weber and Kevin gave me money. Right. You gave me your share, I put my part in, and you ordered it. Right. Um, I feel like then yes, I am comfortable with the the scenario now because I'm getting a brand new watch. Right. That one had a scratch the screen. I won't tell you that. But I'm I'm gonna order I, I'm gonna order the yeah, screen protectors because obviously I need them. Yeah. So yeah. you kind of helped me out in all honesty. The screen's a little bit more than scratch now. But afterwards, well, yeah, it's like, it's... And, and Tom watched it too, so it was like we looked at the, and, and you've seen the interrogation video, right? You watched it, didn't you? Well, yeah, I watched it, well, the first part. Now, when you watched it, my thoughts when I when I, when I I saw the whole thing is that Weber was naturally the most guilty. So, um, you were, you just triggered me with the watch thing. And I also, 
<laughs> I think that that was all I did. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I also <laughs> felt that it was like I felt that you were behind it too. But then again, I felt all like all. Dude, I'm telling you, call, guys, you just tell me my mom's number. Yeah. Call your mom right now. You want to call her right now on speakerphone? Because she'll tell you I was down short. Joe, I know it can't be you. You were with me. You, you were with no, me. But first of all, there's the one scenario where maybe I was fast enough to be able to get outside and toy paper Weber's car. Other than that, there's literally no way it could be me. Did you say you were fast enough? I said no. I said there was that one opportunity where I may have been fast enough oh. to go. I don't. I still said I don't think I was fast. My whole defense yeah, stands no, the fact no, that I wasn't I know, fast I know, enough. I know. I know. I know. That would have been. And I'll tell you what. You know, putting toilet paper on somebody's car. I don't think it's only going to take like a second or whatever. No, I do I, think that we do. Let's get a uh, the, my dry eraser board and we'll start like, like writing things down and we can. You know what I mean? Like so, sort of like a, almost like a like a like a uh, like a word chart. Out, anybody There's that a we can, chart. anybody that we can think of, we'll put their names down there and see, and we can talk about why or why not, and try to try to figure this crap. No, out. I think it's a good idea. Uh, before you go inside, though, uh, real quick. Um, I talked to to Kevin uh, and unfortunately Weber. He's, they they both they want to quit the lounge. What?